In today's video, I'm going to be comparing four popular North Face jackets and I'm going to be giving you guys all the details, letting you know everything you need to know on these jackets. If you've been wanting to invest on one and don't know or you feel unsure of it, this is the video to watch and it's going to be a good guide for you guys. And if you know anything about the North Face brand, you know that they have such a popular reputation on having the best winter coats. The quality is amazing. They carry everything from outerwear, everything from fleece, parkas, puffers, rain jackets, boots, beanies, backpacks, everything you can think of if you want good quality outdoor type of winter leisure type of items, this is it. So let's not waste time. Let's just get into the video. Let's get into these items. So the first jacket we're going to talk about is called the Venture 2 jacket and it's a rain jacket that I've had for quite a while. I actually, this is the second one I have because the first one that I originally bought lasted me about eight years and then I just bought a replacement one and that says a lot because when you buy a double of something that rarely ever happens. This is a perfect lightweight rain jacket and you could definitely wear it fall to early mid spring. I don't think I'd wear this as a winter jacket FYI because it is pretty thin. The material is more good for just like windy weather. If it's downpouring rain this jacket is not going to keep you dry just so you guys know and are aware. It has, it's pretty thin. I kind of wish I could show you what it looks like. I went with a small, which is what I normally get. So it's true to size. It retailed at $99 and that is pretty good in my opinion for this type of coat and brand. And it has like a waterproof type of dry vent material on the outside. It has the the cinch at the waist so if you want to tighten it or loosen it at the at the bottom of each left and right as well as the side pockets and it's perfect when you want to put your phone in them which I really like a lot because it comes handy and it kind of has like a net material inside as the pocket. It has like an adjustable cuff area so velcro-y so you can just like adjust as you want. A hood of course on the back which is very handy. When I wear this I always wear some type of hoodie underneath and I feel like it gives it the extra warmth insulation so I'm kept warm. What I really love about this jacket is if you are traveling it's easy to pack. It's not going to take up a lot of room in your suitcase. You can easily fold it up. It does have the logo on the front and then of course like every North Face jacket it has it on the back shoulder. The next jacket is the KTRM dry vent jacket. This actually looks a lot similar to the jacket that I just showed you, the rain jacket, except this one has more material as well as the inside. In my opinion, I feel like this is more of a step up on the rain jacket, so it's going to keep you a lot more protected on wind and rain. I wouldn't say it's a good winter jacket. This is definitely still a good fall and spring jacket to wear. And this jacket also has a front zip with the Velcro material at the front of each one. And I did get a size small in this, so it runs true to size. It does have the hood with the logo on the back and then the front. I personally really like the big, the logo is a lot more emphasized and I really like that. That's just me. It does have some adjustable cinch type of things on the hood if you want to make it more tighter as well as the bottom of the jacket also has those cinch adjusters. It definitely has like a relaxed fit and I did notice with this jacket that this is the thing I didn't really like is that it's slightly cropped so instead of it hitting right at my it hits right at my hips, which I don't like. I kind of like my jackets to have more length. So I don't think it would have made a difference if I got a medium. I think the length would have been the same, obviously. It does have this side zipper here as a pocket in the front. It's definitely a breathable waterproof jacket. And like I said, this is not a good downpour jacket. It will definitely keep you dry in like kind of a rainy drizzle type of weather or if it's really windy this is a good jacket to have. And if you want to throw on a fleece underneath or a hoodie or a sweater of any sort I feel like that will definitely give you that warmth. Definitely not something to wear by itself in the snow. I don't think it, I don't think you would be warm. I feel like you would regret it and wish that you'd worn some something more thick and more insulated. So this jacket is definitely, like I said, good for the fall and springtime. 
I did buy this jacket actually on Poshmark and so it's more like secondhand. I paid 30 bucks for it and typically this jacket I checked is $289 and I was kind of weary but when I got it I made sure to see that it has the I think it's called the authentication code which it did it looks like that so if you ever want to invest in North Face always check Poshmark or Depop a lot of the time people are getting rid of them and they don't want them anymore and this is definitely such a steal the next item or coat would be more of a fleece and it's the North Face fleece. I'm gonna say it's a fleece because I don't know the actual style, but it looks like it's a cross between the Glacier style that they have or the Denali. It's not the Denali, but it kind of has that fleece look material to it. It's a, it's a lot older. And of course it has the front and back logo here. And this is perfect to wear pretty much any time of the year, obviously not the summer, but this is perfect if you want to wear underneath any jackets that I showed you or any of your normal jackets. This definitely has that heat. I checked online to see how much their just typical fleece range on price and it's about 100 bucks, which is not bad at all. It has a standard fit, super comfortable, has a front zip, side pockets on each side, logo on the back of course. There's not a hood that comes with it, it has more of that neck length type of fleece and it has such a comfortable classic fleece style this is actually something i wear every day my morning work fleece of choice that i wear every day it's perfect if you're on your way to the gym if you're going out for a morning walk if you are going to go run errands it's definitely something that will keep you warm and comfortable and it's just such a lightweight jacket yet it does so much for you and i really like that the last jacket is the puffer jacket from north face and i believe it's called the 90 1996 retro noopsie jacket i don't know if i'm saying it wrong but i'll link the name here this jacket is the ultimate winter jacket if you don't have it you definitely should invest on it it should definitely be your winter jacket this jacket i believe runs true to size it's a size small that i have in it it's a medium so i sized that because i knew that i was going to wear jacket or i mean a hoodie underneath and layers so if you're layering definitely size up because this jacket already has like a boxy silhouette type of look to it so if it's small and you wear a jack or a hoodie underneath it's going to be really uncomfortable this jacket is also wind weather and rain resistant and it has the i believe it's like a dry vent type of um, material on the outside it has the cinch waist adjusters on the side as well as the pockets on the side are zipper a zipper thing on the side and this is an old jacket because i went online to see if they have something similar to this and they don't a lot of the jackets are more updated it has the logo on the front of course and on the back and the jacket is lightweight and super warm because of the 700 goose filled feathers that it has inside i know that you can buy these jackets in two-tone colors where this area is usually black and then you can get like pink purple green or whatever you choose hopefully today's video was helpful and let me know in the comments which north face jacket you guys want or which ones you guys own i'll link some winter videos down below and i'll see you guys on the next one